It is Friday afternoon. It's just almost 10 after 4 in Switzerland. And it's a cold, rainy day, actually. This is going to be a quick one because we're, we're going to be going shopping uh, after. So thanks for watching the replay, guys. Thanks for coming in. It is Farmer Box Friday. You might be watching me on, let's see, you might be watching me on Twitter. You might be Twitter Live. You might be watching me. Um, you might be watching me on Periscope, even. I know some people are still going in there on Periscope. And, or even, um, I've got some new um, Texas friends in um, YouTube. So, or also, of course, on Haps. So, you guys don't know Haps. Haps is an app um, that you can download and you can stream live stream to like all of your social media. So um, even on Facebook and all that stuff, but I'm on Twitter, uh, Haps, and YouTube. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. It is Friday, and so we do Farmer Box Friday. We're gonna start doing it a little bit different though. Um, I'm gonna combine it a couple weeks ago. Um, someone asked about if I do meal planning, and we didn't really do much meal planning actually, but I thought, this would be a good idea um, as we go through the box because every week we get a delivery of two crates of fruits and vegetables. First, I can let you know what that is. Um, we're, we subscribe to a co-op. It's like the farmer's co-op. Local um, produce and huh? What's that? I don't know. I don't know. You can go ask Daddy. Daddy's gonna help. You. Huh? Hi everybody, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Come on in, come on in. So Farmer Box Fridays, every Friday we get a delivery to our front door. It's a co-op of farmers that um, local produce, fruit and vegetables. We do get some things delivered from Spain and Italy and France from time to time. So this one my daughter just brought out. I have not looked in the box. I don't know what's in there. Um, so we can go through it together and talk about it. Where are you guys watching from? So thanks for coming in. You're in Switzerland in my kitchen, so don't be shy. Um, feel free to say hello. And, uh, yeah, maybe we're going to talk about what – there might be some fruits and vegetables you've never seen. might be something new. Um, und also, or und, that's German. And also, how would you – um, cook them. Maybe you guys have some ideas. So my goal is here we can exchange ideas, um, maybe inspire you to try something. Maybe you just, maybe in the grocery store you keep walking by it and you don't know what to do with it. This might be some inspiration. So, cheers. We're going to start with the first box. In the first box, we, we got two crates. Usually we get two crates. Sometimes we only get one. It depends on how big the, the variety is. Um, but the first crate is usually salads and greens. So like uh, things for salad. So we start off with some cherry tomatoes. Um, cherry tomatoes, do you like them? Is it your thing? My daughter loves these. She absolutely loves these. You guys want, if any of you want to um, come in, let me know. Um, a lot of times I will just wash them and put them on a plate at, the, at, at lunch or dinner and she just kind of eats them like salad. But I also like to have them, like cut them in half. We will be taking these this weekend for sure. Um, we're going away for the weekend. So we will, we're going to take picnic, lunch, and stuff like that. Also a really good way is just to have them, you know, cut them in half, toss them with a little bit of maybe some mint, some fresh lemon, a little bit of olive oil, salt. That's it. So we'll have to keep things simple. Um, or like with feta, toss it with feta cheese, chop them up, feta cheese, a little bit of basil, and some balsamic vinegar. Do you need some help, babe? Um, Let me see. What's that? I don't know. Oh, those are stickers. Okay, yeah, those are stickers. You can. Here. There you go. Okay, Dad's gonna help you. Okay. Hey, Aiden, what's up? How you doing? So we got some cherry tomatoes. It's the first thing out of the. Um, out of the box. How's it going in Leeds, in the UK? Hello, welcome. How are you doing today? It is getting cold and rainy actually right now. We're gonna go out and do some shopping. We've got to get stuff for our picnic. What do you guys like to take on a picnic? What is your favorite picnic foods? Um, we're going to Interlochen. Beautiful part of Switzerland. Okay guys, are you ready? For the big one, yeah, she's not on. What's that? Well, yeah, daddy can open it for you. 
You want me to open it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Got my little little ninja here. I need some help. Those are. Okay. There you go. I guess those are stickers for the for the buttons. Uh, you can you can make a picture with them. Okay. So tomatoes. Starting with this now. Moving on to a nice looking salad. This is now this is a good one. This is looking good. Now the thing is, we brought this in the apartment this morning. It's been sitting in, um, but it's still quite good. The bottom. Okay, this is one. If you ha if you have actually the opportunity, I have got to put this on. Um, what is it called? Landscape because. You cannot see how big this thing is. This is a nice head of lettuce, all right? Now, what you want to do, see, here's what happened. We brought in the apartment. It's quite warm in here, actually. You can see, this is from, this is our fault. Um, it's a little floppy. You see, it's a little floppy, but that's all right. That's okay. Whenever you're buying fresh um, lettuce, if you get the opportunity, if you're at the farmer's market, I say this every week. I know you guys are, you know what I'm going to say. You want to check the bottom, okay? So this looks really good. Um, there's, it's not a lot of brown. There's no browning here. This is the spines. This is where they start to. This is where it starts to age. You could say. Um, yeah. No, you can't put them on your CDs. It'll break. Mom, there's 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 broken CDs. I can do that. We don't have any broken CDs, honey. Mom, yeah. Mom yeah. I need I need mean, something to do that. Daddy's gonna show you, honey. Yeah. Okay, so um, if they start to brown here, a rust, uh, someone told me once. So, but you see, you can see they're very fresh, very fresh. These are just a little, like, like I said, we spent in the warm apartment today. We, we took them in this morning and we went, on, we went out for the day, so not a good combination. But yeah, they're still very fresh. As you can see, this is a Batavia um, green salad, nice and, nice and compact. That's something also you want to look for. Like if everything, like these bottom leaves are a little bit floppy, that's okay. But the rest of it is really, really compact. That's what you're looking for. Yeah? So this is a good looking salad. Now we have another good looking salad. Let me get this one over here. This is another good one. These We, we get these every week, almost every week. And they're starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is another green salad. I don't know the name of it. It's got a special name, I'm sure, but I don't really know. But as you can see, it's got a lot of body to it. It's got you got to you got to chew it. It's not just like a thin, wimpy salad. So again, ah, see, now this is something you might want to look for. What? Do this sticky salad. Oh, on the case. That's a good idea. No one CD is a broken one. Okay. This is really that is really really broken. One. Oh, good idea. It's good idea. Broken. Okay, this is a perfect example of what I was telling you guys. Um, okay, so we're looking at the spine. This looks good. It's a little brown, but this was freshly cut. But looky here. Now this is not a big deal, okay? Because it's one. We're gonna we're gonna check it. All right. Usually there's no problem with the produce that we get, but looky here. So you can see there you have a little bit of rust, all right? Now, it's not a big deal, all right? It's starting here too. We're gonna take that leaf, okay? Just to make sure it's only gonna go one level deep. Yeah, okay, take that off. Okay, see, it's still all right. This, this, this top part's okay, but see, here's what you wanna look for. It's only one level deep, that's good. So this is the one we just looked at. This one's okay. Take that off, and now there's no more rust. Now, sometimes if it goes like four, five, six leaves in deep, if it goes about five or six leaves deep, then it depends. It depends uh, try to find one that has less rust. Normally, they don't have anything, but it depends on everyone has access to different produce. These are really, really fresh from the farm, so locally. Um, if you guys have a chance, you have a. Do you, ha you guys have? Access, do you guys, where do you get your fruits and vegetables from? Do you go to the grocery store? Do you go to the farmer's market? And even in the replay, you guys um, can let me know. I am really, honestly, truly interested on where you guys get your produce from. So I would love to hear from you. Um, if you have the chance, always look at it and just see if you can find a better one. Now, of course, now we're in the time of the 
Voldemort virus thingy that shall not be named. So depending on where you are, everything might just be covered in bubble wrap and plastic. You might not be able to have hands-on um, look with your with your produce. Even in the farmer's market, they always, everyone sanitizes their hands before they even go in. So um, it's kind of a weird uh, situation now because we have to be careful. Yeah, anyway, have, have a good look at your at your salad, at your produce where you're getting it. So we got, we got a green salad. And again, this is nice and compact. You're holding it up from the bottom and it's, it's not just like drooping, hanging. It's very compact. Yeah, cool. Yeah, neato. I need a cool, that sounds good. Okay, we got some mix, some green spring mix, which we're gonna mix. We're gonna mix the spring mix. Yeah, these are salads. We're just starting with the salads. That's usually what we do every week. Now, this one, I think this is gonna be rucola. Why is it a lot? That's rucola. That's rucola. Where's my list? That is for sure rucola. Mm. Rucola. It's bitter. Let me just double check if that's rucola. I'm sure it is. Um, try not to, yeah, it's rucola. Rucola is a bitter salad. It's a little bit peppery. So I'm not going to have, I'm not going to serve for dinner or lunch a whole bowl just of rucola. I like to mix it, all right? So I'm so happy in, that we get all of these different types of salad. So I'm going to mix, like with some regular green salad, some regular leaf, and throw in some rucola. Throw in a handful every time you make a salad. It's gonna add that peppery kind of um, nice taste to it. Now with um, this kind of salad, I would recommend like maybe like a honey dressing, something sweet, uh, a little bit sweet. I don't I don't like sweet salad dressings. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a real big fan of sweet salad dressings. I like um, I, you know not nothing too sweet. I like uh, one of my favorites is like an orange vinaigrette with like a bitter peppery one, maybe like a honey mustard, something like that along those lines. But you can mix it, all right? So you're not eating this a whole, I think a whole bowl of rucola by itself is gonna be a bit hard to digest or, or you know, it's, it's a bit strong, at least for me, for my taste. But it's gonna add a nice peppery, bitter, bitter's not the right word. It's bitter by itself, but if you were like dipping this like an orange vinaigrette, it's gonna cut that bitterness. We got it's gonna be nice. Okay. Oh, now that we've had this three weeks in a row now, this the little ninja go crazy for. She's gonna freak out. We're gonna take this definitely tomorrow on our picnic. Now it's a little bit difficult because we've got our salad and we're going away tomorrow. We're not gonna be here. So I will put this back in the plastic bags that it came in. And put it in the refrigerator. We'll have salad. We'll have we still have a little bit of salad left from last week, so we'll just finish. We'll finish everything off fresh in the refrigerator, and then we'll start. We'll get back to this on Sunday. Hey, Alexis. Hi. Welcome. 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 So we're just now getting in the first box, just at the bottom of the first box. Some gorgeous salads. Lynn, hello. Hello. Hello, ladies. So we got some, we're just at the bottom of our first box. Got some blueberries. Little Ninja's gonna freak out. Some nice blueberries from, where are they from? Spain. Man, how are you? How are you guys doing? Look at this giant blueberry. It's like the size of my, it's bigger than my thumb. It's a nice one. So we'll definitely take these on our picnic tomorrow. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so now we're getting to the next box. You're going to you're going to go pick blueberries again, aren't you? Are you going to ride your bike? How's the weather doing? How's the weather in southeast coastal Georgia? How's the weather in Texas? Um, it's cold and rainy here. It's cold and rainy. So we're going to go. We got to go shopping for tomorrow. So we're going to go do a family shopping. Everyone goes together. We're going to go to the bus and not the bike. Yeah, you're gonna ride your bike. Oh, that's so fun! After my phone charges, oh, are you are you going to broadcast it? My my battery's almost dead. Question: Do I start this just the steep in hot water or oh, start in hot water, Lynn, for the nettle tea, hot water. Yeah, 
It's cool and rainy. Well, you're probably enjoying the cool off. The cool off. Yeah, I just do it. Good. It doesn't have to be boiling directly from the from the kettle, but yeah, hot water. Well, I, I boil it and then just put it in. Um, I need. Do you guys have the problem with um the phone? Oh, my my battery not, not doesn't do too good. I mean, I mean I've got a battery pack. Some of I can find it. High of eighty nine. Gosh, it's like cold and I don't know, I don't know. It's cold degrees here. It's cold. High of 26. It is definitely not. I think it's like 10. I don't know. It's in Celsius. Or Fahrenheit. It's cold. We went this morning to um there's like a playground that has been closed for a long time because of you know, there's a virus. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but there's a virus thing that's been going on. It just opened up. So me and my daughter went there this morning. And on the way back, it was I was like on my bike and in the rain. She's like in her buggy, like covered up, you know, like with a plastic. She's perfectly dry. My hands were freezing by the time we got home. You Okay, good. Let me know, Lynn. Let me know. So I guess you got it. I guess you got it in the mail. Let me know how it turned out. Um, you tasting the lettuce? Yep. Hey, did you see this? What's that? Wait, wash it first, please. Three weeks in a row we got blueberries. Okay, so, oh yeah, what do we got here? Okay, I know now what this is called, but I just forgot it again. Death gummit. Ah, uh, yeah. Damn it. Dang it, I always forget what this is called. Okay. I even Googled it. What? Well, my, I don't like it like this. I like it with salsa. Yeah, it's better with salsa. Yeah, can I have it? Okay. Thanks for tasting. It's good that you tasted it, though. Let's have a blueberry. It does taste better. She likes that. She likes the salad better with the salsa. Yeah. But it tastes better with the salsa, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that better? You need another blueberry to get the out of your taste out of your mouth. Yeah, I want you to take a couple more blueberries. But be sure you wash them off. Not the whole carton, honey. That's for tomorrow. Well, just here, here, take take those. Okay. Take a handful. You can get a bowl out of the dishwasher, babe. Uh, good idea. I'm um, I must take some pepper. Yeah, she's already attacking the blueberries. T attack. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. See, I told you she was going to attack those blueberries. Alexis, don't tell her that you're going to go pick blueberries. She will ride her bike all the way to Southeast Coastal, Coastal Georgia. I'm telling you. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I've got my vegetable gurus here. Like, you guys are like the vegetable whisperers. Because I looked it up and I forgot the name. And we have this discussion all the time. I'm going to show you. It's a good vegetable. It's gorgeous. This one. Look how big those, those leaves are giant. That is bigger than my giant head. Okay, this is, I think, Swiss chard. But they call it marigold. My, marigold? Is that what they call it? I think some people might call it Swiss chard, but I don't know if that's the same one. I know it's like marigold or gold, may gold, gold something. It's called Krauterstiel in uh, German. But what what is oh, this? Is gorgeous. Look at that. That is. I, I've got to get my phone. I really need to do my broadcast on um, on landscape. Oh, that's it. I know. Look how big that is. Isn't that pretty? I'll hold it. You want to hold it? Is it like a fan? Yeah, I wouldn't use it as a fan. Bye. Well, because it might break. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't that pretty? Now, what what, what we will use for this, I know, I already know, because we've got some rice. Um, so we're going to, at least my, I'm thinking I'm going to try to do a little meal, meal planning at the same time. Chop it up, saute it with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, maybe. I like onion. You don't like onion? She's over there chowing on blueberries. Can I have a blueberry? Thanks. That's how I feel. Oh, I, I, I like blueberry with the skin. It's okay. Okay. Can you guys hear me? I'm freezing up. You guys are quiet. 
but I think this is called marigold or no, what is it? Gold. You guys might be googling what this is. I forget what this is called in English. I always forget. I'll, I'll put that in the comments. But anyway, you saute it. I put this in everything. If we do any kind of, anytime we do vegetables, I chop some of this up because we have a lot of it. You could do it, put this in quiche too. It cooks, like the green part cooks a lot like spinach. It's not collard greens. No, no, it's not collard greens. I think it's, um, pepper. Oh, there's a pepper. That's right. Hold on just a sec, though, babe. Hey, Mr. Zen, would you do me a favor? Would you Google what is Krautstil of English? Come on. Swiss chard, yeah, I think it's Swiss chard, but there's another name they call it. I think it's like marigold. It's not collard greens, no? What is it called, then? Keto. Keto. Keto? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, my, my the four-year-old says it's called keto. But it cooks up like spinach. Um, what is it? Mangold. That's what it is. No, Mangold. No, it's called what I just say. Oh, and what did you just say? What is it called? We're doing a we're doing a survey. Anybody else want to jump in? What, what, uh, um, what what's the other name, kid? Clactus. Clactus? Yeah. That was pretty good too, yeah. This is also you might know it as mangold. Mangold, mangold. Um, so um anyway, chop it up like spinach. You can chop these up, throw it in a quiche, throw it in a stir fry, throw it in even with pasta. But what I'm gonna do, you're probably gonna throw I mean good. We've got um this I'm gonna use this in about two or three dishes. Um Hey Papa Bear, what's up, Danny? How you doing? How how's the missus? This is mango. Check these out. Check this out. How big this is this? The giant. It's got really good texture. Lots of iron. You can't even hardly see me. I mean, the mountain of mango. That's crazy. Yeah, it's called mango. Yeah. So we'll just use that. Not lots of different things. Then my lovely little assistant over here just hand me a giant sweet pepper. That's huge. That's a big sweet pepper. I'm good, thanks. How's you? She's good. We all good. I'm at work. Oh, okay. Hold on a sec. I gotta tell about the pepper. Do you, do you like these sweet peppers? Not so much. Well, we'll cook them, throw them in a stew, stir fry. Um, lentils? Oh, these are good in lentils too. These are good in lentils. Really, really um, good. It's a quick mm -hmm. add in. <gasps> green beans. Thank you, babe. We got mm -hmm. lots of green beans. Cocoa beans, they're called. Uh, green oh more green beans you like these though don't you oh my gosh more green beans okay more green beans there any other green beans okay so let's wait wait but wait a minute let's tell our friends about the green beans how, how do you like to eat the green beans i love green beans too you like green beans i just eat the beans oh you like to eat the seeds in it first hey thanks for the award high five Hey, give me that five, kid. Yeah. Whoa. You've been eating your beans. Thanks. Uh oh. Okay, we got to do, and it's super hard too. We got to do some. Hold on. Ooh, we're gonna do a mango with super hard. Thank you. <laughs> this is my little frame. Yes, that's what I do. All these people are like, dang, this girl is crazy about vegetables. I am actually. Okay, so these are cocoa beans. Now. Okay, this is a lot of cocoa beans, actually. Um, we will not eat these all in one day. I will grab a handful of these at a time. Okay, maybe like this. You can make salads out of them, whatever. But here's the thing. Here's how you... Mom, I want to talk about one. Oh, you want to talk about one, too? Okay, well, do you need just one? You need no. three to talk about? She's going to talk about the beans, too. Hey, I have a beer. Well, yeah, here you got to come around here. Come around here. She wants to tell you about the beans, too. Okay, but you can just wash them, of course, right? I don't know that. Well, no. Okay. All right. Just for a minute. Why? Mm, okay. Tell us how do you like to cook the beans. You cannot use them for salad. You can't use it for salad? Why not? You can't use it for salad. Oh, you can't. I'm sorry. Yes? 
You can also use pepper for salads. Peppers are good salads too, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, but let's talk about these beans. So what you gotta do, here's the thing, you got two ends, right? You have you, two ends. You got this end. And this end. Thank you. Which one do you think we gotta cut off? This. Mm, good guess. Try this one. This. Yes, this one. Because that, that that that's where they pulled apart. Okay, bye. Bye, Danny. Bye, um, bye Don't watch. If you guys are at work, turn off. You can watch the replay. Uh, I don't want anyone getting in trouble. Okay, so we're gonna cut that off, wash it, and then I just I just chunk yeah. these up no. like about this big. No. Yeah. Don't say get in trouble. Okay, don't say get in trouble. Nothing. Nothing. We didn't say anything, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, oops, sorry. Get in your poop in your head. Okay, off off yeah. camera. No, hey, we can't talk about that kind of stuff on camera. Okay. She's a, she's she's big into P O O P, and she thinks it's all funny. Okay, toots and burps and. <laughs> okay, so what I like to steam them. Steam. I like to normalize steam them. Then you can toss them with a little bit of lemon, olive oil, salt. I don't know if you really do that. Um, I did a recipe. There's one that you do. You made a saw. I made. I made it once. It was okay. Pretty good with um, boiled eggs and anchovies. It was pretty good. Honestly, I like them just steamed. You can also, st but but just cut them up in chunks like this. You don't have to. And those little beans. I don't know if you guys can see the little the little pods. She likes to eat those first. You don't have to take them out. You just eat the whole the whole bean by yourself. Okay. So, assistant, can you give Mom, me the next? Mom, can I eat the whole raw one? No, 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 you don't get to eat them raw. You gotta cook them first. Can you give me the next? I can make you a big tummy ache. Yeah, I can make you a big tummy ache. Now, what, now, now why are you doing that? <laughs> she was considering something. Okay, so give me the next one. You're gonna help. Let's help. Come on, chop up. We gotta go. <gasps> oh, what's this one? Apples. Mm, apples, apples. We did. One of my favorite ones, of course, we just apple. eat them like an apple, you know. Okay, more, more apples. But the other day we made corn cakes, like corn, corn, cornbread, but we made them skillet cakes with them. And I sauteed a little bit, a couple of apples with some butter, apple. cinnamon, and maple syrup. Put them on. It was so good. It was so good. Bella. I really also like, ooh, Vienna. Ooh. Also, really, Bella. really nice way. Yeah. Is to um, core the apple and, and then the fill it. Olivia, wait a minute. Okay. And then bake them with a little bit of um, chopped nuts, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, or some or honey, and then top it with plain yogurt once it gets out of the oven. Cinnamon, you know, all the good stuff. Okay, so she's moving on. I, actually, she's good because we gotta go. Yeah, eat your carrot right out of the box. That's okay. I'd wash it first, though. You go wash it? Okay. There you go. That's how we cut off the ends. So go wash it, and you can have your carrot. That's a good sweet carrot, isn't it? Okay, so we got some pears. They're not quite ripe yet. They're going to need a couple of days, about a week or so. Okay. That's my little four-year-old. Um, so, okay, we got pears, really nice way, I like, have you ever tried pears with camembert, like cheese, with cheese is delicious, gorgeous, 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 um, we got pears, a couple of pears, we got some, an avocado, oh, oh yeah, we got lemon, hold on, got an avocado, still quite hard, now this one, Olivia, did you know that lemons have a belly button? Well, yeah, the lemons have a belly button too. So here's a little tip on how to know if the, if the avocado is ready in the shop. Now this one's not; it's rock hard. But you see, it's got the little stem there. I call it the belly button. I don't know. There's a, probably an official botanical name, but I call it the belly button. When you're in the shop and it's a little bit soft and you're not sure if it's good, thank you, honey. Okay, wait a minute. The but wait, wait, we're running out of room. What you do? You open up this little. Okay, let's put this there. Just for a second, honey. I guess I'm with the avocado. Okay, you can eat your carrot and go go get ready for. We're going to go to the grocery store. 
then you open up this little belly button here and it can show you in type of green or black or whatever and also it can show you how firm it is if you push it in now i cannot promise you if it looks good here that it's not going to be here are some black spots you know with the um avocados sometimes it's a surprise so but this one's not ready yet okay so we got some avocados then she oh she's piled up a bunch of okay we got a cucumber chop them up salad lemon salt with the olive oil oh we got potatoes too okay oh, okay. Whoa, potatoes now these are oh these are spring these are spring potatoes so these are gonna be firm potatoes Carrots. Carrots. More carrots. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Just a sec. We get a kilo of potatoes every week. So one week they're soft for like. This is the first time we've done. This is the wait. Hold on, honey. You know, this is the first time we've done Farmer Box Friday together. The thing is, we have to go a little bit slower because I got to. I'm still telling you about potatoes. Oh good. I'm gonna tell you about the eggs in just a second. Can I put them back in the box? So no. Oh, I'll put them right here. Okay, potatoes, roasted potatoes, steamed potatoes, baked potatoes. Potatoes. All right, so we get those every week. Um, this would be a good thing. What I like to do also, chunk, chunk them, chunk them up, chunk them up. Like just do roasted veggies, like with some roasted garlic. Some what you do is you chop up your Potatoes, some onions, some garlic, some carrots, uh, maybe some bell peppers, um, and then you toss them with a little bit of olive oil and salt, and that's it. Maybe some, ooh, maybe even some lemon zest or some like onion powder or yeah, I don't know, just whatever paprika, whatever you want to do, whatever your jam is. Throw them in the oven to roast, and then you've got some really, really, really nice roasted vegetables. I like to do that a lot. She even eats them. Zucchini is a great one to do as well um and then sometimes we'll have that just like for lunch with like a salad on the side so we like potatoes everyone who doesn't who doesn't like potatoes right who does not like potatoes so those are potatoes um and we're gonna move on to oh yeah we got we get a kilo of carrots every week i've actually been doing a lot of juicing we've been juicing a lot of carrots so i've been actually buying extra carrots because um, we juice them about two or three, we, we've done this the last two weeks, and I really like how we feel. And um, we've been doing, we've been drinking like this um, superfood. We, me, and my husband, have been drinking this um, like superfoods powder. It's like a nutrient, um, like a what do you call it? A food supplement, I guess you could call it. And also one with um, peptides, with collagen and things like that. So we've been we've been drinking that a lot, and it's been really good. I like it. It tastes good with apple juice, I will just say. Like, if you guys have to mix any kind of, um, like, green powder stuff that tastes funky, try with apple juice. It's also not too acidic as well. So we make lots and lots of carrot and apple juice. I will also shred these on the box grater all day, I mean, almost every meal. So we eat a lot of carrots. The other day I did this with, um, with zucchini, and it was actually really good. I made a um, like a yogurt, come up, kind of like a cucumber raita, and we just shredded um, um, zucchini in it. Or what else did we do? Like in wraps? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what we did the other day. We did a tuna fish wrap because I last week, like this week I, I oh it's Friday isn't it? No, this week I really tried to avoid going to the grocery store. So we're cleaning out our cabinets, things we've gotten. I've got like cans of tuna in there we haven't eaten forever. And so we did lettuce wraps, which I haven't done that in forever. It was really good, honestly, honestly. So we got carrots, shred those and everything. Or even like cut them up with little carrot sticks just to dip like a little bit of salad dressing. It's a great snack. She thinks for her it's a salad. Um, we get every week we get three onions, or not onions. <laughs> I'm tired. Three lemons. Uh, and we use lemons for everything. Um, mainly, mostly though, to 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 um, drizzle over steamed veggies, for example. Hey, Amy, hola, Globot. Hello, hey, Globot. What's up, Amy? How's the boca? Um, we got some lemons. I love lemons. I will use lemon zest a lot of times for like even in salad dressing, like a creamy um, yogurt dressing, for example. Amy, how are you? I, I'm having to look. I can't see you under that mountain of 
fruits and vegetables. So welcome to my kitchen. How are you doing? Um, yeah, lemons. We use it a lot for everything. You're good. I have to go like this. You're propped up against my coffee cup. I can't find my, um, I can't find my uh, tripod. I'm drinking coffee. I, I, I stopped, I started drinking coffee again like about four months ago. And now I'm, I'm, like, I'm like addicted to it. Okay, what else do we got in here? Oh yeah, okay, we get garlic. Every two weeks we get three heads of garlic. So we got garlic, you know. Have you ever tried roasted garlic? Roast the whole thing. Okay, I saw a hack on, uh, I saw a garlic hack on TikTok. So you know it works. Hold on. Now I'm not going to do it right now, but it's pretty amazing. It's a garlic hack. And I love, I love TikTok um, recipe. There's some good stuff on TikTok. Okay, but you guys see this now. Hold on. Knife alert, okay. Are you good? good. It's all rainy and cold here. I like your Zen garden. Yeah, get on this knife. Okay, knife alert. Don't panic. Okay, so you take your head of garlic. You chop it in half. This way, all right? Okay. Then you lay it cut side down on a board. Okay. So you got two. You got two parts, and then you smack it. I'm gonna do this next. When we do a cooking, when we do a cooking thing next week, I'm gonna do this. I want to try it. So that's the TikTok hack with the with the knife. Now, I, I don't suppose you have to have a big knife like this, I imagine, or remember probably a big chopping knife. Um, but it seems like it works pretty good. And then, and then what happens is when you smack it, all of the buds come out of the white paper shell. Huh? What do you think? Um, is that impressive? Is that impressive? Okay, so we're about almost to the end of our Farmer Box Friday. We've got a couple more things to go. I'm going to throw you out because we got to go shopping. Okay, we get... A kilo of onions every week. Onions. Roast them. Roast. Try, try roasting some onions in your vegetables. They're really good. Like chop up your um, potatoes when you're roasting your potatoes. Throw in some chopped onions. They're gorgeous. I can't see. I cannot see anybody. So, okay. Good. A kilo of onions. Um, a lot of these, sometimes it seems like that with, with a lot of these we got, we'll get onions we get every week. And then we also get every week six eggs. So these are from our Swiss chickens, Penny, Sophie, and what's the third chicken's name? Henny, that's Henny, Henrietta, or Henny for short. Sophie and Ingrid. Ingrid's a good name for a chicken. Fanny, Sophie, and Ingrid. They lay our eggs every week. So, okay, guys. That is it. That's our Farmer Box this week. Um, we're going to close up here. I'm going to throw you out, get you out of the kitchen. And then we are going to head off and go do our shopping. So, wish you guys a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. Next Saturday on the 8th, mark your calendars because I'm doing a... Um, Actually, something with Bronx Viking. We're going to be cooking together with Al. Going to be teaching him how to make la pa au pruno. That's a recipe I learned. Um, I first had it about, oh gosh, 16 years ago on my first trip to Paris, a long, long time ago. And I cooked it once on Periscope. And Al was like, oh my God, that was like the best recipe ever. So I'm going to teach him how to make it. That'll be next Saturday. We're still figuring out the time because I am in Switzerland, so the time zone's a little bit. Um, off, but we're gonna be figuring that out. You wanna watch Ratatouille? Yeah. Well, it's almost five. Let's let's go get the shopping done and then we'll see, okay? Let's watch Ratatouille. Okay, you wanna watch the whole movie, Ratatouille? Yeah. 
the other day with our passengers will turn it off, then we'll be right bedtime. Oh, you think the movie's gonna go all the way to bedtime? Okay, we'll talk about it later. Let's, let's say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Just blowing your kisses. <laughs> Okay, have a good weekend, everyone. Have a oh, great week. Uh, you want to give them a hug? Okay, go ahead. She's going to give you a hug. Oh, okay, good. There you go. That was a nice hug. That was a good hug. Yeah. I miss your friends. Uh, would you what? I'm missing your friends. You're missing my friends? Yeah. She's missing you already, you see? I'll let you know about the nettles. Thank you. Okay, bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Okay, well, they, they will be back, right? <laughs> hey, Gora. Ciao. Hello. And goodbye. I'll see you guys next Saturday for oh, the rapid. The rapid. 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 Mmm, it's going to be good. Bye, guys.